Hi, I'm working on Coinola unit valve pneumatics and uh, thought I would try uh, steaming them apart this time. I normally just break them apart, um, but it, the pieces are quite small here toward the end that it screws onto the deck and uh, often these little bits of wood will break apart. So I thought, well, we'll try steaming uh, to see if that yields a better result. Um, in either case, whether I'm just uh, chiseling them apart or steaming them apart, I like to remove the little metal plate that's threaded for the screws first, just to get it out of the way. So I have a little block with a hole in it that runs all the way through. And then I can just tap it out. I have a short piece to start with and then a longer. Okay, so there that is out. Oh. Do one more here. Okay, so once those are out, the next step in the process, Franklin, is to load up our steamer, which as you can see is very high tech. It consists of a thrift shop hot plate, a tea kettle that has a round opening that I can put a hose on, and then this rather rudimentary box uh, made out of plywood scraps. Uh, I've got a piece of screen in the bottom here because I want the uh, uh, unit blocks to be toward the top, you know, where the steam is going to be the hottest. So when I put them in here, I put the valve well facing down because I don't want any moisture to condense in there and sit there. So I put them in like this. And I can put about, I think eight will fit in there. Okay, and then we shut it. And it only takes about um, five or 10 minutes uh, for the steam to do its magic. It actually works really well and probably a little too well. So the, um, here are some pieces that I've already done. We'll pop these out in a little bit. But so the, the, the positive uh, side of this is everything comes apart easily uh, with no breakage. Uh, you can even pull the old uh, pneumatic cloth pouches out easily because that glue has softened. The negative aspect is um, Coinola liked to glue up pieces of wood before they milled them into the uh, the unit valves and so you get places where there's a seam a glue joint and of course those come apart too the steam doesn't care what kind of a glue joint it is it it uh, dissolves all the glue and so i do have a few that um you know will need to be glued back together before i can you know put the pouches back in and everything and of course it does it does fry the shellac um, uh, but you're going to be re that anyway uh, before you put the pouches in. So I think in the end I will definitely be time ahead um, by doing it this way. Um, so it's been about five minutes, five or six minutes, so let's pop it open. Of course, watch out for the steam, it can burn. So we'll grab out the first one. So it just comes easily right apart. And like I said, 
any other seam will come apart as well. But one benefit is it's very easy to get the old rubber cloth pouches out because all that glue is nice and soft as well. We'll do another one here. Oh, now that one already had some, some issues. Oh, somebody's been in there before. That's a new pouch. So apparently this is one that the previous rebuilder uh, opened up. And for whatever reason, only did one. Okay. So this was damage that um, he did when he broke it open. So I will have to repair that. Interesting. You never know what you're going to find. All right, let's do one more. Another nice thing is even if the uh, previous rebuilder used yellow glue like this guy did for the pneumatic cloth, um, the steam will soften the yellow glue as well so that any little bits of uh, pneumatic cloth that remain, you can just sort of peel off at this point um, that might have been too stubborn to get off before. Of course, the old hinge comes right off. And obviously you want to keep all your parts together. So obviously the, you know, the jury's still out when I'm done. I'll let you know if I liked this way. It certainly has some benefits. Um, and I'll be able to figure out whether those outweigh, um, you know, the benefits of doing it the other way where you just uh, use a chisel and a felt knife to pull them apart. But um, we'll, we'll get back to you and let you know how it goes.